The number of apps that support material you theming is growing slowly but surely. We see more and more first party and even a few third party apps also adopt the new Android aesthetic. So welcome to our second episode, diving into all the new additions. Thanks for watching 9to5Google Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. You kind of expect all of Google's first party Android apps to at least support dynamic color tuning ahead of the Android 12 release and ahead of that official launch. A huge volume are now getting updated to adopt the latest UI changes. Some will be stock on your Google Pixel, Samsung, Xiaomi or OnePlus smartphone, but not all will come pre-installed on your devices. While Google has been busy preparing their own apps, we're also seeing another small selection of third party applications from independent developers get tweaked and tuned to take advantage of the massive changes coming in Android 12. Some apps don't even require the latest Android update for you to see these changes, but you won't have dynamic color theming, rather just simplified colors instead. So with those warnings out of the way, let's get into it. If you're enrolled on the Google Phone beta, the material you redesign is available as part of the latest update. The app's dynamic color support includes theming for the search bar, along the bottom bar itself and the floating action buttons for the keypad and Google Duo. One of the more notable changes is to the bottom navigation bar, which includes pill shaped indicators that highlight which UI section you're currently viewing. The dialer itself also has a number of light changes, including to the call button underneath the numpad. The all important dynamic color changes are also visible across all areas of the app, provided you are running Android 12 on your Pixel phone. You'll see the biggest or most notable changes when using the light theme, with certain UI elements hued based upon your system theming choices. Updated and added as part of the recent Android 12 Beta 5 update, the Google Calculator app gained a full material U overhaul with version 8.0. The Google Calculator though hasn't had many alterations throughout its entire lifespan, so to get such a vast redesign is actually quite something. At the end of the day, this is still a calculator app, so Google hasn't reinvented the wheel. However, load it up on a device running Android 12 and you'll notice rounded colorful keys with graded accenting based upon that core color as denoted by your system theme. Lighter and darker tones are used for specific function keys with the AC key having a different color to fully stand out. The top pane is also themed with results still shown in black text, so it does stand out quite effectively. However, the theming is less pronounced when your device system dark theme is enabled. Overall though, this is one of the most impressive app redesigns we've seen at all based upon material you theming and dynamic color. Similarly to Google Calculator, Android 12 Beta 5 introduced us to Google Clock App version 7.0, which provided its own material you makeover, although to a lesser extent. There are some new widgets, but we'll focus here on the main clock app itself. The timer page is the most obvious change, with a large coloured start button and various hues of your main system accent colour used for the plus and delete buttons. Those touch targets are also considerably larger here too, which should make it easier to adjust or change settings on a whim. The bottom bar navigation pills to highlight what section you're currently viewing or within are also here, but there are some lovely animations when switching between these. The final change alters the alarm UI, which is now very minimal and has a draggable pill shaped icon to snooze or stop daily alarm tones. One of the most used apps on Android has now gained material you theming support with some usability tweaks also included. It starts at the home screen with the top page seeing a pill shaped search field that features a hamburger icon on the left and profile an avatar or account switcher at the other end that fits that curvature. The layout of the navigation drawer within Gmail is unchanged with this revamp, while various buttons are now more rounded. Along the bottom nav bar, like many of the other first party Google apps, pull shaped indicators are used to highlight what tab you're currently viewing. The selected icon is also filled out, while Gmail leverages a rectangular compose floating action button just above it that does shrink as you scroll down your inbox. Dynamic color hues the main email list, all tabs, and even that compose button. The bottom bar search field and buttons leverage a darker shade, while the overflow menu also sees some theming. When selecting an email or message, the actual highlight colour to indicate that you've selected something is the very same as used for your notification shade toggles too. Although still technically rolling out, you will be able to see the material you themed Google Meet as part of the Gmail update. 
it is modest and it does have a sprinkle of dynamic color thrown on that main interface with new meeting and join meeting buttons but that's really all there is visible just for now but the previous and upcoming meeting lists will include more colorful elements once the update fully rolls out to that main application another core workspace app google calendars material you refresh starts with the app bar which gets dynamic color theming this is also the case for the navigation drawer and rounded square floating action buttons which drop the four colored plus sign that has been used for quite some time now meanwhile the new floating action button shape also applies to the out of office goal reminder task and event toggles to complete the overhaul calendar has also gained an animated splash screen when first launching on android 12. The latest Duo update rolling out right now enables material use support, which includes a number of changes to the app's core design. There's an updated search bar and a rounded square for the new call float in action button. Duo also uses the wallpaper based colors in accents to separate UI elements and even in text for some portions of the UI. For example, the create group and call my home devices options when starting a new call will adjust their color based upon the overall theme. The in-call UI also changes the color of the text based upon the same accent color, though in our testing, it does use lighter shades. Photos version 5.59 is less extensive as it appears to be a bit of a work in progress with no dynamic color tweaks just yet. The most prominent change is the taller bottom bar that allows for a pill-shaped selection indicator for each section of the app. At present, these areas are just blue rather than adhering to your system theming settings but there is plenty of extra curvature in the tools carousel and the image and video editor. Album covers for specific albums you've saved also feature more prominent rounded corners, while the search field at the top of the app itself is now pill shaped to fit in with the rest of the aesthetic. Version 9.7.032 of Google Messages is now bringing another not quite finished material you update to the popular messaging app. While the main UI has been tweaked, the dynamic color portion is still not quite finished with some elements not yet theming as they should for a first party app. In the main conversations view, the start chat button is now pill shaped and adheres to dynamic color, while the upper right settings menu and main conversation list view should have various shades of your main system theming color. Search sees some tweaks and the background is lightly tinted throughout, but that's curiously the extent of the dynamic color theming at the moment. Unfortunately, at this stage, it doesn't seem to apply to individual threads for all users out there. It's actually unclear if any shapes will change while Google Sans is now used across the app. After an extensive update last year, Google Podcasts is seeing some more modest tweaks to fit with that material you theming principles. On Pixel phones running Android 12, dynamic color is present to theme all buttons and navigation elements within the main Google Podcasts UI. Dynamic color will tune that now plain screen, progress indicator, and even the top tabs of the app itself. While the changes are pretty minor, it's a good sign for how widespread the material you mandate is at Google. The podcast app very rarely sees visual refreshes, so while minimal, this is substantial given the app itself. Wallpaper apps on Android are fairly common, but not many support the material you theming options. Swift Walls is one such option, with a cohesive and almost stock level implementation wallpaper picker that wouldn't look out of place in the styles and wallpapers section of Android 12 on Pixel phones but it is still a nice third-party wallpaper app that just runs as well as it looks. Plus, on top of that, there are just tons of high-quality wallpapers for you to choose from within, so it's definitely worth giving a try if you haven't done so already. Like wallpaper apps, Reddit clients on Android are not that hard to find, and Infinity for Reddit is a pretty solid client that has been available since 2019, and thanks to the latest beta update, you can get a taste of some minor material you theming and dynamic color changes, but we have to say this is not a true implementation as you do have to manually adjust the color accenting to make this a little taster of when it's fully added in a proper update, hopefully coming soon. You might have a device that probably won't see Android 12 for a long time and you're itching to get some of the attractive new widgets and icons that we've seen in the latest version of Android. Well, the answer for some of you out there might be Pix material icons and widgets, which although terribly named, is just an icon pack that has a few extra widgets thrown in to mimic that official option or the official options found on Pixel devices running Android 12. Overall, if you just want a little taster of Android 12 and you know that your device might not get the update anytime soon, this might be definitely worth a look. 
to customize your smartphone even further still. So while the number of choices outside of Google's own first party apps isn't exactly massive, we're starting to see more support material you theming and we will hopefully see more over the coming months. We want to ask you what your current favorite material you themed apps are and what are you excited to see get updated or changed in the near future? And have you seen an app with the theming enabled that we haven't mentioned? Be sure to let us know down in the comments sections below. Hopefully you'll like this look at some of the most recent material you themed apps available on Android. But this is Damien with 95Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.